Oh, an Ollivator? Ow, oh, my ankles. Oh no, more bad guys. Ah. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Steps Basic, and welcome back to Let's Play Borderlands 3. Yep, we are in the final stage of this game, um, of this uh, DLC. Because last time, we killed that fella. Look at that big old fella over there looking all dead and stuff. What an idiot. Anyway, so last time I said I'll we were going to be doing... Good for you. Last time I said we were going to be doing some cleanup today, and yes, we are. God, I flashed myself um, because we are still missing some film reels and um, a skin, actually. I, I went in here. I, my nose itches. Oh, God. And in here, I went in here. I noticed. Well, hey, hey buddy. How you doing? How you doing? I noticed we're missing one. So we're at least missing one skin as well. Ugh. Half reptile, half bandit, all killer. Gross. Uh, unfortunately, out there. you too, buddy. Unfortunately, I can't check out what that is. Ow, why is why is suddenly the side of my head hurting? Ow, stop it. Ow, ow. And look, nail soaps <laughs> for duds. Or suds for duds. Whatever. He's got a laundromat in here now. Yay. How you doing, Nettle? It's you. Yep, it's me. I love that he opened up a laundromat here. That's pretty awesome. Also, why'd that box fall over like that? Anyway. Stick it to him. I will, Nettle. Apparently there's a film reel in here somewhere. Down here. Hello? One of my movie reels is nearby. I can feel it in my bones. Yeah. Cinematic sense, you might call it. Mm, gotcha. You, you're unflappable, imperturbable. Why, you're downright stoic. You can handle the truth, and the truth is that the company was making monsters right under our nose. No and behind way. all that danger, drama, and daring do, that's what my picture's all about. Monsters in our midst. No way. So he had one of his film reels in his sleeping area, it looks like. This is where he lived and cut his video together, and he completely forgot he had a film reel down here. Oh, well, I mean, I can't really judge. I've forgotten things like that before. <laughs> Ah, flying through the air with the greatest of ease. I don't know if I'm missing any more of these. We gotta watch it. Bounty hunter and also hello, hello, friend. All right, yeah. Down in front, rampage of the Gorgonoth. Interesting. Very cinematic. That must be the Gorgonoth. Is one of them sound pitches? It's got sounds in it. Oh, they flip at the on switcher. Ooh, zippy zappy. Wow. Oh no, the Gorgonoth has grown beyond their capacity to contain it. Oh no. Uh oh. We could have done that that transition a bit smoother. Oh. Well, if it isn't the mysterious bounty hunter. Shut up! I'm watching a movie. Oh, look at him. Why does my finger smell so funny? Oh no! It's the Gorgonoth. Run away! Nice run animation. Oh, you lost your hat, dude. Oh, this is the saloon. Need three things for a good picture. You need Josh. You need it. And you need a whole lot of je ne sais quoi. I need you to a uh, shush. Thanks for stopping by, friend. Shut up, I'm watching a video. Uh oh, I guess that's our hero. Oh no, maybe not. <gasps> the Gorgonoth. Oh. Look at that big old footsie. No, don't step upon me, I'm so young. Wow, nice effects, dude. Did you get a real devil to do that? Oh. Oh no, it's Mothrak. Gorgonoth versus Mothrak, wow. Come on, scientist. Science. Uh oh. Ooh, 
He's opening the vault. I wonder what's in the vault. No! Gasp. Hurry up and get in the vault and see what's in there. The suspense is killing me. Go, Mothrak. Fight Gorgonoff. Ooh, epic swing, bro. Hey, we can see the lights. Stage lights, dude. Gasp. Oh, we're all lost. Oh, is there nothing in there except, like, safety for you? You coward. Ah, missing film reel four. Well, we don't want to spoil the ending, so I got to go find... Welcome, welcome, welcome. Shut up, Katsuhiro. All right, so I'm at least missing four. And I'm missing one of those, and I'm missing one dude that needs to be shot. Well, the question is, where are they? Because as far as I remember, I've done cleared all the spots on the map, so I don't really know. Ooh. Go now. Your destiny awaits. What? <laughs> Hello. There's a beast of a man named Haddon Marr in that area. <laughs> Track him down and show him he ain't as tough as he likes to think. What a quinky dink. That's the last one I need to kill. Oh, the goddess statue was that thingy in the other place. Um, hey, found Haddon Mar. Now the question is, how do I get to Haddon Mar? Because he seems to be elevated above it all. So Haddon Mar is somewhere up there. And I don't quite know how to get to him. Oh, an olivator. Ow, my ankles. Oh, no, more bad guys. Ah! Olivator! Hi, Hadmar. I'm gonna shoot you in the crotch, Is that cool? Here, all that. Sometimes I think you just might be ruined incarnate, bounty hunter, with the way you took down every last one of those lieutenants. I can tell you this for sure. Rose ain't gonna be too happy with you for dismantling her crew like that. Oh, good news is she's dead. Happy to help. Happy to help. I killed her already, so we don't have to worry about whether or not she likes it. Is there anything I can blow up with this? Ooh, up there. We. Oui. Ah, treasure. Nice. I'm missing the prospector. But those are the only two things I'm missing in here, and one of them has to be in here. I just don't know how to get to it yet. Alright, so where would the creature feature be? Whoa. You're used to hunting bounties, sure, but can you sniff out one of my movie reels nearby? Found it. Well, I'll say this for you. You've got panache, friend. <laughs> even. You've got the makings of a star. Maybe someday it'll be your name in lights. Just remember us little guys along the way, huh? Will do, oh, buddy. And, uh, speaking of, I'll have my people mail you something to remember me by. Ah. Don't forget to swing by my theater in town and see the flick when you get a chance, kid. All right, will do, buddy. Thanks. Wow, that was... That was a bit of a stretch. I was just like, hey, what's this over here? I didn't even notice this was back here. I could have done that in the whole time. But now I'm like, I'm going to do this the hard way. Ugh. All right, so now i got to find the prospector. The problem with the prospector map is it doesn't show up on your map until you've, you know, found the map. So i got to look at all the walls and everything. Spikely. Oh, hey. I got that thing spinning. Oh, hey. Huh? Oh. What is this? Well, it's not powered, whatever it is. Ah. That powered it. What's in here? Treasure ball. When, uh, something no longer sparks oh. joy, I'll get it out of the house and just go hide it somewhere. Maybe it'll spark joy for someone else. Anyway, hey, that you was can have that trash if you want it. Thanks, buddy. Apparently that was the uh, prospector's thing. So now I guess I'm done in this area, huh? Oops. <coughs> mm -hmm. Got all nine of them. Still wonder what that last part is. All right, so... Hey, Oletta. How you been, lady? No, it's been a minute since I was here. Uh, okay, so I need to set... I'm, that definitely looks like a skin, a place I need to skin, because, you know, small little isolated area, off the beaten path. 
Now the question is, how the heck do I get there? Alright, so up here, through here, going around here, down around here, up and around, or down and then up there. Heck, raisin guns! How did that guy? Another dead townsperson. Uh -huh. Do you see those scorch marks? Sure the do. Electricor must have done this. This gotcha. is great. Uh, as far as tragedies go, I mean. Hey, you go avenge the dead folks so as I can get that skin. Okay, okay. Perfect. I've been trying to find some pink and purple leather for an evening look, and that Electricor hide looks like just the thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Got him. All right, cool, cool, cool. Sato's cash and Sato's saga. That seems to be the last thing I need to do is all the Sato stuff. Ugh, I don't want to do the Sato stuff. It's so boring. Why did they put that down there? According to my logs, there's a Sato journal near you. You don't say. They put us in a pit. Said only one of us was getting out. Rico came at me like a starving devil. I don't blame him. I saw it in his eyes. He'd lost something on the long ride. Had no choice but to put him down. I guess they didn't have any food, huh? After the fight, Devil Riders chained me to a table and inked his name on my back. Then they said I either ride with them or die. That's rude. Until I can escape, it looks like I'm a rider. No, bummer. All right, so now it should show on my map. Became a devil rider. Well, he kind of had to. Oh, right, the cash. Yes, give me a moment. The cash I've marked it for money. You. All right, there we go. So uh, I did this. We blew up that, which gave me access to uh, that, which opened up that, which got me into here to open up this. Boom. All my life, I grew up with tales of Sheriff Carson Sato. Uh -huh. Always figured people turn to the Devil Riders because they want to, not because they have to. Mm. Shame. Wonder if he ever made it out. Maybe we'll find out. All right, so that is uh, that one. Okay, so this didn't do much of anything other than you know. My notes indicate that another Sato travel log is located in that area. Oh, so this was. Oh my God, so it's right here. I was up here earlier. I jumped in this thing, and then I was like, Oh look! Oh my God! All right. Longer I'm out here, the more I learn about the Devil Riders. They're more organized than we give them credit for. As for why they fight, it ain't just bloodlust. Really? They've got a code. Informs how they fight, how they rank. I figure if I learn about the code, maybe I'll learn something to help me cut through them bastards. Maybe. Yeah. Another one of Sato's caches. All yours, bounty hunter. Thanks. I get the feeling it was uh in between the floors there. <coughs> well, I guess I'm falling <coughs> through now. Ouch. Oh, I did get the big key. Excuse me. Alright, so where could the last Sato journal be? I'm gonna assume it's gonna be up on top of the buildings, because that makes the most sense. Alright. I whoosh. That didn't put me on the buildings, man. That put me like miles away from everything. Huh. 
Battle Jack. That's weird. I just put me in the center of town. Do all these things lead to the freaking center of town? I don't need to be in the freaking center of town. I'm gonna need to be on the rooftops. Happy hunting. You too. Hmm. Well, how does one get in there, I wonder? Hey, are you the prospector? I saw you earlier and I was like, that's weird looking. How does one go about getting into that room right there? Looks like I gotta go through the saloon. Let's go through the saloon and see if there's a way. Maybe hey, I'll think. finally catch some sleep. Maybe. Good hey, luck. I know you. I think. You don't know nothing. <laughs> there they is, my favorite newcomer. Hi. Aha. Uh -huh. Prospector. Nifty. Oh, Belly, you're still alive. Yay. I was worried, man. After seeing you die, after probably being responsible for you dying. Oh, that's awesome. Hug. Oh, good stuff. Yes. Hi. Maybe if I spent more time looking after Carolina and less time with my Cumberbun collection. She'd still be here. Probably. So one thing I really like about this DLC, I know I didn't mention it a whole lot while I was playing it, but I really love the fact that the town like changes as you go along. As you play all the DLC and whatnot. That's just freaking awesome, man. I love that. Have I ever been down here, I wonder? <laughs> oh, hello. Haha. <laughs> If you wouldn't mind, please keep on the lookout for a Sato journal near there. How many times I walk over the top of this thing, man? I tell you what, you gotta be like basically Jet with a spit distance of it. Irons loaded. Time to head out and hunt down those devil rider bastards. Let's do it, brother. We'll ride for the company baths first. I'll leave a few supplies here and there in case anyone wants to join us. But with Ruth Kanara, Rico Alston, and Kendo the Kite by my side. Those devil riders will be cold in the grave before sundown. I don't think so. Cold. Carson Sato, the legend himself. Yep. Looks like he left some supplies in town. Might as well take them. Wherever Sato ended up, he's not coming back. Well, I guess not. Alright. What the heck is going on up here? Preacher Jones, what you Hello. talking about? Have you embraced the teachings of the meat man? Uh oh oh Big it, man be with you uh, <laughs> Did he become a preacher? Oh my god, what have I done? I started another freaking religion, man. I need to stop doing that. It's dangerous. You know, straightforward or not, it looks like I still gotta do some jumping and climbing. God oh, darn it. Ah, this should be easier though. Yeah. Got it. Open the door. I found something in the jailhouse, Bounty Hunter. Paper stuck between the stones. Looks like the final words of Carson Sato. It says, I came back, but the town didn't know me no more. Couldn't reason with them neither. Widowmaker takes me tomorrow. I don't blame no one but myself. I mean, it makes sense. So that's what happened. Uh huh. At least we know now. Thank you for your help in uncovering this story. I'm going to send you something by mail to show my gratitude. Aw, thanks, buddy. I don't know who that is. Oh, wait, that's the dude's wife. <laughs> Alright, so look at all these things I got from all them folks now. Uh, I also wasn't paying attention. I got some stuff from uh, Mankey. An old guitar. A ruiner tapestry. Cool. Devil's tooth. I can put that on my thing. Eyeballs. Okay. 
crossed arms. Oh, it's an emoji. The worm. That sounds terrible. The lodge poster. I kind of want to put that up. All right, well, that's it. That's it. We have completed the Bounty of Blood all the way through. We've seen the video, got the, the skins, got the bounties done. But um, we didn't get all the red chests. Therefore, you know, we're stuck with that. At least it looks like it's only three, two, one, one, uh, two, and one. Okay, so it's not too bad. So that might be something I can do on my own. But apart from that, we are now officially done with the Bounty of Blood mission, leaving us with only one DLC left. And that's the one that is in Tannis' room, and I don't know what it is. I can't remember. <laughs> Woo! We're back. All right, so um, like I said, the, the one that I got left is uh, the one up in Tannis' office. Hey, Tannis. Which is... Psycho Krieg. Oh, I kind of want to do that one. I want to see more about Psycho Krieg. I liked him. All right. But apart from all that, that's going to be it for me for today. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of Borderlands 3 Bounty of Blood. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go and post that like button for me. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you're more than welcome to leave a comment down in the comment section down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. When I can, if I can, you know all that jazz. And tune in next time. As we start the Psycho Creek Bounty of Blood. Oh, uh, no, sorry. Psycho Creek Fantastic, you know, thing. Uh, and until then, good night.